I'm Chip Mahogany, narrating for the Carve Channel. And our carver, Roger D-Man. Welcome to the Carve Channel. We will be diving into the world of chainsaw carving and handwood carving, embracing the challenge and creativity these crafts offer. Today we are working on a carved relief sign for our channel Carved. Our process begins by hand and hammer, chiseling the outline of the letters and border of the sign, followed by power chiseling out the spaces surrounding the letters. Relief carving involves carving designs into a flat surface, creating a raised image. It utilizes chisels, gouges, and other tools to sculpt various depths, giving dimension to the artwork. Commonly found in wood and stone, relief carving can range from intricate details to simple motifs, often used in decorative art. That reminds me of a joke. Why did the relief carver become a comedian? Because they were tired of chipping away at serious subjects and wanted to add a little depth to their humor. As the carved letters emerge, we are heading to the stage of burning. Wood burning adds depth and character to the piece, enhancing its visual appeal and making the design stand out. However, it's important to clean up the charred areas afterward to reveal the natural beauty of the wood underneath. Brushing away the charred residue and sanding the surface not only removes any roughness, but also exposes the intricate details of the carving, giving it a polished and professional finish. This process brings out the texture and grain of the wood, creating a striking contrast between the dark and burned areas and the smooth, lighter wood. Ultimately, cleaning up the wood burning adds a level of craftsmanship and finesse to the relief sign, making it a more refined and aesthetically pleasing piece of art. We're about ready for some paint and finish. Please, if you enjoyed this episode, like, share, and subscribe. Or next week, I'll be living under a railroad trestle. Thank you, and good carving.